City under-18s made headlines for all the right reasons last season. Their never-say-die attitude, dramatic late winners and a hatful of goals to boot made many fans sit up and take notice of the players of tomorrow. And even though there may appear to be a new-look squad from the outside, there's no shortage of familiar faces for head coach Jason Wilcox. When I first came to the club three or four years ago, this is a group that I worked with initially. Now we've had some additions uh, and we've lost a few players as well, but this is the first St. B's group. Um, the work ethic is outstanding. Um, they're taking everything on board, they're trying really hard, so I can't ask for anything more than that. They're quite a young group this year for under-18s football. What challenges does that bring? Well, obviously, the, the obvious one is the physical side of it. I think uh, whilst we have got some big lads at that age group, um, We've not got too many across the full squad, so I think if, if they're not, not involved in the starting eleven, I think we, you know, we're obviously going to struggle a bit physically. But you know, if we move the ball properly and we move uh, the ball well, then you know, we'll give a lot of teams a run for the money. I think uh, I'm really excited. Some of the players uh, are showing real promise. Um, obviously disappointed to lose the, some of the lads that we had last year, but great credit to them and full credit to them that they can now move into Patrick's uh, group, and that's what that's what. My job is, my job's to get players and progress and make them ready for the next bit of their development, which is obviously Patrick. So the bigger picture is to get players in our first team and I think to see uh, six or seven players progress so quickly um, shows that we're doing something right, not just me, but all the staff as well and the teammates around them that uh, made it a, a successful term last year. But what we've got to do this year is look at the players and how we develop them and how we kick, on, kick them on again. Um, it's not about winning leagues as such. Yes, we want to win leagues. Um, yes, we want to win trophies. But at youth development, we've got to make sure that we get them to the next stage and make them and prepare them for, for uh, first team football. Standards were set high last year after the old guard finished the season with 22 wins and four draws from 31 league games. And in doing so, clinched the Northern Premier League title. This season, Wilcox expects nothing less well from the Young Blues. Well done, champions, and well deserved. My expectations are really high. I, I expect them to uh, to challenge, and I expect them to to win more football matches than we lose. Uh, we're at Man City Football Club. The players know that. They know what's expected, um, and they've just got to make sure that they work as hard as they can. We know that we're young, uh, physically and mentally. We I'm not expecting anything other than a tough season, but I'm sure that if the lads apply themselves, we'll win more games than we we'll lose. My expectation is, or our objective is, to, to win the, the national title and to win the Youth Cup. Um, you know, we've got, to, we've got to keep pushing the players on, and I think whilst we've got that motivation, the, the, lads, will, the lads will be absolutely fine. Next season's squad will include a host of British talent, with a mix of players from Holland, Spain and Scandinavia. And learning from each other's cultural backgrounds is something that's viewed as an integral part to their professional development. We've got obviously some top British talent, but you know if we want to be the best, we have to go and search wider afield and uh, or further afield. So I think when we've got new boys coming in, they've settled in really well. It's really important that they're integrated because it's important for the, uh, the foreign boys as well to understand our culture. And it's also important for us as well that if we're going to be, or if they're going to progress in the Premier League, that they're going to have this as they move further in their careers, they're going to play in Europe perhaps. So um, the fact that we've got foreign uh, players coming over is, is, a, is fantastic. So what then can we expect to see from the under-18s next season? Um, very similar to last year, we work really hard, we like to get the ball back as quick as we can. Um, we're very attacking, um, I'm sure we'll score lots of goals. Um, we've been doing a lot of defending, we've not done anything in possession yet, we've been doing everything without the ball, so hopefully uh, we can concede less goals than we did last year, which is, a, which is one of our objectives. Um, I'm sure whoever comes down to Platt Lane and watches us play will go away and think we've got some really good players coming through, irrespective of the result. You know, the, as I've said earlier, the, the result is really important. I like winning. We're all in the job to win. But actually, there's a different type of winning. And actually, if we're seeing players who are coming through who are 16-year-olds playing against 18-year-olds and we're uh, putting on good performances and they're actually understanding the game and they're developing nicely as players, then. Um, that's winning as well, so um, 
we'll be we'll be fine. I'm really looking forward to the start of the season, to be honest.